Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Disc Dinosaurs, the only show on the internet proving to you that physical media is not extinct. I'm JT the Talking Head. You are the audience. I'm joined today, as always, with my host, Teo the Terminator. Teo, we got some breaking news today. It's the only thing we're talking about on this special short Disc Dinosaurs. Disney Movie Club is shutting down. Everybody panic by. Hit, hit the fire alarm. Oh my God, this sucks. What are your thoughts? Going into this right now, what, what what's up, Teo? You're a member. It feels a little bit more extinct right now. Uh, I cannot yeah. believe that Disney Movie Club is closing. I have many, many opinions and strong feelings about this. Yes, you are right. I have been a Disney Movie Club member for the better part of a year now. I love the Disney Movie Club. I love the exclusivity of their titles. I love that they have films that you cannot get literally anywhere else And now you can't even get them with the Disney Movie Club, or at least you won't be able to. So coming from the Disney Movie Club website itself, important notice. After 23 magical years, it's time to say goodbye. We have made the difficult decision to close the Disney Movie Club. We will miss the opportunity to serve cherished Disney fans like you. This is very important information. The last day to order is May 20th, 2024. This is... This is a disaster uh, in my eyes. This can only be bad, uh, but I am seeing maybe some positive rhetoric about this. This comes from a user on the r slash 4K Blu-ray subreddit. He says, I see people saying this is doom and gloom for physical media, but that's just not true. Bob Iger has actually made the opposite statements in regards to supporting physical media, which that is factual. Uh, What they are doing is getting rid of the dirt cheap way to get them. The whole buy one at full price, get the rest at 60 to 50% off thing is just a way to take advantage, especially now that they aren't just Disney, but also Fox titles. People were paying as little as $12 each for pre-orders of the brand new 4K Cameron titles. That is also factual because our good friend Drewby's Doobies Movies actually did that. Uh, I'm sure this was a long time coming, but I also don't think it's entirely coincidence just based on the sheer amount of people who seem to have gone the route that route for them in particular. If anything, this is actually reaffirmation of them cataloging and caring about physical media and seeing it as a profit center. So I can see where he's coming from or they're coming from here. Um, I don't know if I fully agree with that uh, because the fact of the matter is that there are so many movies on the Disney movie club that, that are locked to DMC, those exclusives movies like holes and freaky Friday in the parent trap, three live action Disney movies that are absolutely majorly important to my childhood are locked to Disney movie club. If I want to get them on Blu-ray. They're the the, the yellow spine ones. You are absolutely right, JT. And I have a few of those right here in my hand. These were a few of the ones that I immediately picked up upon joining the club. And now I can see why. These talks about, oh, they have stated this and they promise this and that. Man, when it comes to promises, I will believe it when it actually takes place. Uh, We've gotten a lot of promises about, oh, no, it's okay that Best Buy is closing because Walmart is going to be taking over. Uh, My Walmart is just as empty as it has always been. Um, So it is tough to get a hand on these titles. Um, And, yeah, no, there there are a ton of... Not just these cool, fun Disney movies that we had in our childhood, but there are a lot of like historic, historically significant movies. The one that comes to mind is 1954's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You can only get that movie on Blu-ray at the Disney Movie Club, and that is one that I still need to pick up. I hope I can pick it up. I hope I can grab a copy of that before. Uh, we haven't brought this up yet, but currently the website is crashed because so many people were like panic buying. Uh, that the website is down right now. So who knows what will be left when when the dust clears and the website comes back up. But this is just devastating news. And now it's like, crap, I have to buy literally everything because I may not get the chance again. Or if I do, it will be scalped at insane prices. Now, I completely get their point about, oh, like these new James Camerons uh, that just came out. I don't know why they have the deal on those to begin with. They should have like new titles are excluded. 
Um, so I feel like there's like a happy middle ground that they could have reached here instead of just tossing the baby out with the bath water. Uh, but JT, what do you think about the next five months that we have to pick up these titles? It's, it's not even that long. It's less than that. I think that it's going to be exactly what Disney wants. They're going to panic sell all of their, uh, all of these titles. Anything that doesn't sell is probably going to go to the Disney movie insiders club. Uh, as rewards for them this would not be a bad thing if they didn't lock so many of their movies to the dmc uh if, if they if they came out with a plan and they said hey uh we understand that all of these amazing movies that you love and want to own on physical media are just locked to dmc don't worry they're going to start appearing in your walmarts and on amazon now I would be fine with this change, to be honest with you, as long as I have the option to purchase these movies elsewhere. But as it is right now, and this breaking news the first day of hearing this, we don't have that option. Um, now, that doesn't mean they can't implement that down the road. But for me as a collector, what the most important thing in the world is, is the option to preserve and curate a catalog of physical media that means something to me. Um, I've always always hated that those movies are locked to dmc that you can only get them by signing up for the disney movie club i I've, I've felt like that is the probably the worst thing for their uh preservation of physical media i'm not all that at, at love lost to see the club itself go but i do very much so worry about the future of preservation of disney films Dude, the thing that gets me is like, okay, I get on the grand scheme of things the decline of physical media purchases. However, it is clear that there is a crowd of people that are dedicated to this. When the news of Best Buy broke, that made national headlines because people were talking about it. Physical media collectors were talking about it. I assume the same thing is going to happen with this Disney Movie Club story. Of course, this like literally just broke, so we haven't you know had a chance to see how like much buzz this will cause but like i get that it is a much smaller crowd it's not a mainstream thing anymore but it is truly clear that collectors have a notable presence in this marketplace and so i don't know why they don't give us a new dedicated store like give us a barnes and noble specifically for movies open up a, f a few locations in very popular places kind of like a uh kind of like a disc replay although i know that's a very like i i know that is a very regional thing to like to like a very like specific part of the country but like give us a physical media chain and then just like let all of these exclusive titles live there and i'm pretty sure that physical media collectors will keep those stores in business we will keep that place open if there is a dedicated place that we can go to find the movies that we want the things that we want to own so badly right i i mean i can definitely see where you're coming from on that i will say though a physical media chain that houses all of those is called a monopoly and that's not legal <laughs> but um uh i digress i wanted to go over some of the like faq frequently asked questions uh it says who is disney movie or why is disney movie club closing in the united states uh this this is per their website we've enjoyed serving you for the last 23 years but consumer behavior and viewing preferences continue to evolve so we have made the tough decision to close disney movie club obviously that means disney plus streaming even though they're losing subscribers hand over fist uh says here when will my account be closed? All accounts will be closed on July 20th, 2024, including access to DisneyMovieClub.com. And probably the most important question, what if I have credits on my account? They say, we encourage you to use any credits you have before May 20th, 2024, which is the last order date. If you have credits remaining after that date, you will need to pr uh, provide us with a credit card to have your credits refunded. I don't know, man. I'm seeing a lot of different discourse online. Um, Cyril at Midnight on Twitter says, I'm hearing that the Disney Movie Club is closing while I haven't gotten the email about it yet. It, I've been a member for about a decade. I think we all saw this coming. Disney wants to sell subscriptions, not physical media. And there have been no exclusive club titles for several years. Uh, that is 
a good point. They've not added anything else exclusive to the club in quite a while. Uh, he then continues to say, I just wonder what will happen to all those club exclusive Blu-rays and DVDs. I guess they'll go the way of the Dodo. And if we want to watch those movies in the future, at least most of them are available for purchase digitally outside of Disney plus uh, <clears throat> that would be true. Um, except we have learned that digital purchases don't mean anything. Look at the news that broke with Sony and Crunchyroll and Funimation just last week. Crunchyroll and Funimation are merging, and anybody who purchased a digital library of anime on the Funimation Now service is now losing access to their owned content, their digitally owned content. So if you bought a season of Dragon Ball Z and it had a code to redeem a digital copy of it on Funimation, you no longer have that uh, as soon as this merger is complete, which is absolutely ridiculous. So what happens if Disney decides to uh, remove all their content from Vudu or or another uh, website. Uh, I worry with uh, Vudu and Fandango merging into one uh, stream, like one streaming service, uh, digital catalog housing service. Uh, is there going to be any rights issues with that merger? It, it, the the digital landscape is too unstable for me to be comfortable to exist within it because, as it is right now. There are no protections for consumers, and that is absolutely terrifying. The only for sure way to watch the movies you love when you want to watch them is physical media, and that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and close out with this because you did bring this up. Uh, what are some of those last minute, last chance titles that you want to grab before the Disney Movie Club closes on May twentieth? For me, uh, I'm gonna. I, I don't. I'm not a member. Uh, so I'm SOL unless I can convince one of my friends who is a member to order for me. And that's even if whenever I'm able to ask them to order for me, if those titles are still in stock. But for me, as it is right now, probably the top three, I mentioned them earlier, Holes with Shia LaBeouf, uh, Freaky Friday with with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan, and also The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, those three movies are very near and dear to my heart. They have been, honestly, the three movies that have had me teetering on the line of signing up for DMC for the past few years, uh, but I just never pulled the trigger on it because I was like, I don't know if I want to lock myself into buying five full-price Disney Movie Club-priced movies because we also got to realize, too, when you sign that contract for DMC and that says you have to buy five full-price movies, those movies have to be MSRP. So when a movie releases with a $30 price tag on Blu-ray and it goes to a Walmart and Walmart has it for $19.99 or $24.99 because they don't ever follow MSRP, they immediately release it on a sale. Uh, Disney Movie Club means, no, 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 MSRP. You have to buy for $30. That's where they make their money. So I've never felt it that all that um, beneficial for me. But at the same time, I've also not like actually taking a look like a deep dive look into their catalog. There might be more movies on Blu-ray that I'm missing that like uh, a goofy movie. I'm pretty sure, or it's either a goofy movie or an extremely goofy movie is only available through DMC on Blu-ray. And it's like, it's just, it's just worrisome. It's just worrisome uh, that I might not ever get to get these titles on Blu-ray. So what about you? They have an extensive catalog i have spent a long time just getting lost in the movies that they have from the 1920s even all the way up to current day films the two titles that stand out to me are the parent trap and Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea i believe tarzan as well i need to pick up tarzan and just a lot yeah of those classic disney cartoons that i like that i loved as a kid that you cannot get anywhere else uh i do have quite a few of the disney movie titles because i said i have been a uh a member now for almost a year and i did want to say yes it did have that stipulation about having to buy i believe it was four movie titles at full price uh it does say that as of today your membership contract is now complete so i i did only buy one title at full price and that was the wandavision st still book because i was like i'm gonna pick up that one and and it was that price in stores so i figured I'm, i might as well use this as one of them and that's it i don't have to spend the rest of them 
Um, but I will be going to the Disney Movie Club once the website is back up and just just doing what everyone else is doing. Man, I'm going to panic by the fuck out of this. That is also today's special. We wanted it to be short, but it's actually kind of long. Breaking news episode of Disc Dinosaurs. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to subscribe to the Masters of Matinee page right here on YouTube. Go follow the Masters of Matinee TikTok. Subscribe to myself, JT the Talking Head, and Teo the Terminator on both YouTube and TikTok. And stay tuned for this Thursday's episode of Disc Dinosaurs, where we'll be going over more news stories and the new releases for the next couple weeks, as well as our pickups for the week. Thank you for joining us today. And let us know in the comments, are you going to panic buy a bunch of Disney Movie Club stuff? You're just going to let it go and go the way of the dodo and say hasta la pizza to it. I don't know, man. I'm so frazzled. This is frustrating. This is scary for physical media. Whatever. Hey, say your piece. Kids, I'm going to quote a Disney movie here. It's okay to have dreams as long as you don't believe in them too much. All right, guys. Hasta la pizza. I'll see you next week. (laughs) Hasta la pizza. We out. (laughs) 